Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I did too. I'm especially excited to be able to do another episode of um, Grammar Monday. Now that I'm actually done with the class, I can focus on producing great content um, onto this particular page. So today we're talking about verb extensions. I'll only cover one of them because I don't want to have a 30-minute class on Instagram. So I hope you find some value. In today's video, uh, we'll be talking about verb extensions that represent prepositions for, at, and on. So typically, the extension will be ia if the root of the verb is e, a, or u, and ea if the root of the verb is e, e, or o. I will show you what exactly that looks like. But before I go too far, let us talk about how you identify the root of a verb in Swahili. So I have four words here, pika, soma, beba, lala. Just to be sure you know what all of them mean, pika means cook, soma read, beba carry, and then lala, sleep. As you can see, they have different types of roots. What do I mean? Once you strip down everything, what is left? What does not change? That is the root of the verb. So in a word like pika, you can remove the a and then you're left with pik. That is your root. In soma, you can drop the a. What remains is som. Som is the root. Beb, lal. Those are the roots of the verb. So what you do? You go through each word and look at the vowel inside the root. That is what helps you determine whether you're going to say pikia or somea, okay? A typical sentence in English that would require this type of verb extension is something like, mother cooked for me. So sometimes I've heard people say, mama alipika kwa mimi. So that, while it might convey what you're trying to say, is not technically accurate. This is where you need to use your verb extensions. So, the word for cook is pika. Now let's go through it again and see if we can identify the root of this word, pika. Once you strip everything, the word that is left is pik. That is your root. Now what vowel is in the middle of that root? It is e. If you remember from the beginning, we talked about if the vowel in the root is e or a or u, it's going to have the ia ending. So we take the verb pika, drop the a, and add ia. And we have pikia. That is what the verb is going to conjugate to. Now let us try to finish the whole sentence. Mother cooked for me will be Mama Ali Mi Pikia. We have the ni there because it's the object, the object in this case being me. Mother cooked for me. Alright? Alright, let us try one example one more example that utilizes a verb with a different um, vowel in the root. The teacher read for the students. The teacher read for the students. So what is the verb for read? Did you say soma? Okay, so what is the vowel in the root of the verb? Did you say o? If you did, very good. So you simply drop the a and look at what is left. And what is left is som. And the vowel inside is o. This is what we're going to use to determine if it's going to be ia at the end or ea. In this particular case, it's o, so it's going to be ea. So, therefore, our sentence, the teacher read for the students, will come out as mwalimu aliwasomea wanafunzi. So if you're still having trouble as to why I'm adding the wa, please refer to my mini lesson about object infixes. 
So mwalimu aliwasomea wanafunzi. Did you get that right? I hope you did. Um, I'm going to give you two sentences that you can work on your own. Feel free to put the answers at the com in the comments if you please. And if not, you can send the message directly to me. Um, all the same, I hope that you're able to do this practice. All right, your sentences will be The child cried for her. And number two, he drove the car for him. All right, feel free to pause and work on it. I'll reveal the answer sometime this week. Congratulations on finishing this session. I hope you found it useful. If at any point you feel that you need a little more, uh, maybe to brush up on your foundational concepts of the Swahili language, just how to put everything together, um, you might find my 101 Swahili course useful. So click the link on the bio or just go to learnswahilinow.com and sign up for the course that you think would be most useful for you. Otherwise, I will see you again in, on Wednesday for Random Wednesday.